to meteorologist Bob Trihe. It is going to be a very busy weekend, Bob. Oh, indeed, Cody. A lot to unpack, and I guess the silver lining is that is this is falling on the weekend, so a lot of folks are not on the roads. And my advice to you is stay off the roads anytime from, say, Saturday evening around 6 p.m. till about Monday morning at 9 a.m. After that, you're probably in much better shape. But here's our winter storm warning along I-85, including Greenville, Clemson, Spartanburg, and then extending into the mountains. We're looking at snow ice and wind there and we are concerned as Cody mentioned about an ice storm perhaps significant icing on the order of at least a half an inch of glazed ice he put that on power lines with snow winds gusting in excess of 40 miles per hour we could be looking at real problems and this ice storm warning is south of 85 but I think even along the interstate and in the northern upstate we will be seeing some freezing rain as well so you still have time to get the uh, get the gear going and get all the uh, products you need for the storm ahead as we are thickening up the clouds. We could see a few areas of some snow and rain by mid to late afternoon, but the main event starts to really come in quickly after about 8 p.m. tomorrow. You see the snow and the rain across the area. Any place with just plain rain is going to just change the snow and freezing rain. Of course, in that peach color is the sleet and freezing rain. That is our ice storm. As you see the snow going gangbusters from I-85 all the way up into the mountains. This is going to be a big storm for the mountains. And then we see that ice overtake the upstate by 8 a.m. Everybody's in the sleet and freezing rain. And that's when it's going to be especially dangerous. We have the snow going in the mountains and then the ice will start to move out of here by early afternoon. And then we're looking at the snow wrapping in behind that. So needless to say, it's going to be treacherous out there. Just stay home if you can. And the snow does linger into the mountains early Monday. But tonight we are looking at the thickening clouds, temperatures into the 30s and for the mountains down near 30 for you with thickening clouds by morning and then for the mountains tomorrow 40. We'll see the snow breaking out in the evening. Heavy at times into Sunday 29. We're thinking several inches of snow for the mountains, maybe over a foot in some of the higher terrain. MLK day, we slowly melt at 34, but a better chance of melting that down the road as we get into the 40s beginning Tuesday and for the upstate 44 tomorrow and then that wintry mess builds in tomorrow night on into Sunday 31. So we stay below freezing on Sunday. Anything that falls, snow, sleet, freezing rain will stick and uh, it will not melt for some time. Monday it will start to with some sunshine 41 and then by the end of the week, look at that 50 by Thursday and it's a distant memory, but a lot to go through here the next 24 hours, 24 to 48 hours. That's why it's important to stay here for continuing coverage. Uh, we do have a special newscast as we go into Sunday morning, uh, so be aware of that and then also for continuing coverage online the Fox Carolina News app Facebook and YouTube as well so a lot of resources to go to at Fox Carolina to stay up to date on storm and we'll continue with team coverage as we go through this weekend stay safe